is considered one of the busiest traveling days of the year as people return from their Thanksgiving destinations. Tens of millions of Americans hit the road and the skies for the long weekend. Nearly four million Southern Californians were expected to have driven to destinations this week despite the high gas prices. And the TSA estimates 2.5 million would fly today. Our Alani Latang starts us off from San Diego International with how it's looking out there right now. Hi, Alani. Hi, Jason and Misha. We're here at Terminal 1's departure and arrivals, and it was a little bit of a, a line getting in here about an hour ago, but now things are smooth sailing. There's a lot of cars coming in and out, but, you know, overall, people uh, don't seem to be, you know, too frustrated with what's going on just outside here of Terminal 1, but there is a mix of de flight delays throughout this entire evening. So, according to the airport's website, several flight departures and arrivals are delayed, and these are across different airlines like Southwest, United, United, Frontier, JetBlue, and uh, that's up. You know, AAA estimated that four and a half million Americans flew for Thanksgiving. That's on Thanksgiving, and that's up last year from last year's number. And we are inching closer to 2019 numbers. We spoke with a traveler on her way back home to Minnesota. She says she had an easy time traveling this weekend, even with it being uh, a busy airport. She also works at an airport over there and tells us what it's like during this time of year. A lot of people don't have patience. A lot of people don't have patience, but I get it. Traveling during the holidays, you don't want to be traveling unless you're going somewhere nice. But, um, you know, it hasn't been too bad. Working as a customer service agent, you know, you get your good days and your bad days and your good customers and your bad customers. You know, with all the flight delays happening throughout the evening, it's best to check your, your, your flight status to see if you have any delays. Also, here at Terminal 1, there is no parking, so if you are flying out, again, just plan ahead, schedule a ride. Again, if you're coming in, probably, you know, pack a little bit of extra patience because there could be a line coming through in and out this part of the terminal here. But we'll stick around throughout the night and bring you guys the latest later on the Fox 5 News. But for now, reporting live at the airport, I'm Alana Latang, Fox 5 News. All right.